OK, I'm going to show you how to effectively search the internet. I presume you've all done a search, something similar to this one on global warming, we have come back with millions of search results. In this case, 500 million search results. There is a way, using an advanced search, to reduce the number of search results you bring back. I've got some tabs set up at the top here, all ready to go. Just use the advanced search after the Google search, as you would normally. Previously, when you've done a search for, in this case, global warming, you're using all of these words. That means it's looking for the words somewhere in the page not related to each other. Now we're going to use this exact word or phrase, where you're looking for those words in that order together. And just by the simple use of that, we've now reduced the search down to 17 million search results. Quite a good start, but we can do better using some more techniques with the advanced search. OK, here we're now using any of these words. These are words which are related to each other on a similar subject, but not the same word. For instance, you could search for something about children. You could use kids, teenagers, adolescents. All words meaning something similar, but different websites will use different words to describe the things on their pages. In this case, we're using two scientific terms, targa and biome. They relate to global warming, but it could be any words relating to whatever search you're actually doing. Now we're down to just over half a million search results. Still good, but we can even do better than that. Getting tricky now, we're using none of these words. This is excluding a search from your uh, results. So words that you don't want included in your results page. Be careful with this one. Common words, like animals in this case, could be listed somewhere innocently on the page and you could exclude it if you're not too careful. But we're quite happy about this one. We want to exclude animals from our search. Now down to 171,000 search results. Still quite a lot. And we can do something a little bit trickier. Going down on this part here, you can narrow your search by site or, or domain. Now you can use this to interrogate a particular website. For instance, if you wanted to search through the BBC's website, you can just put in the bbc.co.uk in there, and it will search through the pages just on the BBC's website, or you can do it with another website, what, that, what you want. But there's different types of sites or domain names that you actually can find out in the web address itself. It's .co's and .com's, which are company websites. So it's something trying to make profit out of the internet. .orgs are organisations, charities, pressure groups, etc. .edu's or .ac's, academic or educational establishments. And .gov's, governmental, local government and national government websites. In this case, we're going to use a .org. We're looking for an organisation, charity or pressure group. After that we've also put .uk, so we're going to search for ones just in the UK. You could use .fr for France, .it for Italy, host, host of those. If you're looking for America or multinational ones, they don't actually have a code at the end of theirs. So that would just be .gov or .org or .com, just on the end of those. Okay. And now we're down to 919 search results, an awfully uh, big jump down. You don't have to use all of these search techniques when using your search. Think about what you're using, plan ahead, and you can save an awful lot of time searching around the internet by putting in select inquiries on this and get back a lot fewer results and lot, I mean you can speedily search around the internet without having to waste too much time. Hope you find this useful.